So we're looking at EDP and past paper questions and answers 2010. Number one says, an accountant is using Microsoft Excel in the Windows environment to create a spreadsheet. A, list the steps that could be used to open the, the Excel worksheet if the icon is not on the desktop. So if the icon is not on the desktop, what procedure would you have to go through to open it? You could click on the Windows button right here where my mouse pointer is. Click on it and then you would search through the list of apps. Right. Or to find it quickly, you could type E and it brings up all the apps that begins with E and you would double tap on it and open Microsoft Excel. Good. A2, insert new columns to the left of existing columns in a spreadsheet. Yes, you go to insert, but you have to do something before that. Put the cursor where you want it. So you'll have to put it at the cell or the, the, the column rather where you want it. So if you want it at column C for argument C, you'll have to click on column C, the letter heading C. And then you go through the procedure, which is to click on the insert tab, and then under your home tab, you'll see an icon called insert, and you'll just click on it. All right, let, let us take a quick look at it. Say something is in C. And you want the row there. You'll click on C and then under your home tab, you'll look for insert and click on it. What do you notice? It is what was in C is now in D because you inserted a column. Right? So the same way you would do it, you would just write it. So of course, when you, get, when you get your multiple choice, you have to look carefully and make sure all the steps are outlined before you choose your answer. All right? Just go back. Good. Number two, an administrative assistant is required to produce two letters containing simple graphics. State two software applications that could be used to insert the graphics into the documents. You know, you, you can use Word. Yes, you can use Word. So that's paint could be used. You know, the software called paint, right? That could also be used. And if you're in Microsoft PowerPoint, you know, you can also use that as well. All right. To be identify two letter styles that may be used to produce the letters. Common one, block style. Give me two more. semi block and indented. Very good. C, state two differences between the letter styles identified in part A above, B above. Suppose you had mentioned blocked and indented. What two differences could you give me? Don't say one is and one is. Tell me which one is. Yes, the block style. Yes, is on the left margin. Everything is to the left margin. With the indented, your paragraphs are usually indented. Right, give me one more difference between the two. In the block style, standard punctuation is placed after the salutation and in other headings. All right, and in the indented style, the date, closing, and signature start at the center of the line, and that's what Alia was explaining just now. All right, I'll try to explain. <laughs> All right, number three, 
Number three, state the meaning of each of the following manuscript signs. 3A, DS. What does DS mean? Double line space. I'm giving away the answers. What is stead? What does stead mean? Leave unchanged. Remember, stead comes with a little tick as well in a circle, which also means to leave it unchanged. So it means don't bother to, to remove it, leave it. Sometimes you will see a dash line under the word, under the word. So once you see the dash line under the word, or you see stead, or you see the little tick in a circle, it means to leave it unchanged. U.S. Underscore. And underscore is the same thing as to underline something. So in manuscript, when it, when you see underscore, it simply means to underline. All right? Right. Number four. What element of a desir desirable work habit is working without so supervision? List three other elements of a desirable work habit. Willingness, last week we looked at some of these. You have to be willing, all right? You have to be a person who meets deadlines. You have to have team spirit because you will be working in teams. Good? Others could be, you have to be cooperative, right? So cooperation is one. Individual responsibility. So you have to be a responsible person, right? Recognition of diversity. No racism here or there, etc. Because diversity means a lot of things. You have to be courteous. So courtesy is one. Good grooming, dress properly and appropriately. Personal integrity. So stealing and you know unfair some people call it hustle for the job no none of that you have to be honest right punctuality is also important and regularity good number five there are several types of professional documents and forms that may be produced using the computer name two types of electronic forms that could be relevant to an accounting office. Notice this time it asks you for documents that are relevant, forms that are relevant to accounting office. So you're talking about like statements of accounts, salary statement, pay slip, invoices, those are related to an accounting office. So when you're talking about forms related to those, you would mention things like this. Name two types of literary documents that may be produced using the computer. Again, literary document appears. It's repeated. Remember, know them. The, type, the different types of documents and examples of each. All right, so two types of literary document again. Documents again are actor scripts and plays right number six marcus was asked to prepare the document in the computer his instructions were to use horizontal headings what does horizontal headings refer to it is typed normal yes it is typed normal Look at the look at the headings. All of it except for debit is typed in horizontal. Debit is what? What what type of heading is debit in? Oblique. Oblique. The one that is slot is oblique heading. The one that is upright is vertical. Remember that? The one that is upright is vertical. The one that is tight normal is horizontal. And the one that is slant is oblique. All right? So you will change the debit to normal because they ask you to put it in horizontal heading. Fine? Right. Then it says left align columns one and two. And then it says to right align columns. 
three and four. And basically, it's about following instructions, right? So you'd, of course, block the sections or the information in the columns. And left aligned what is to be left aligned. And right aligned what is to be right aligned. Following? And then the last one says you have to show all grid lines. Who remembers how to show the grid lines? You want the grid lines to be shown, meaning just like how you see it in Excel with the lines, you want those to be shown. So what you would do is go to print, go to file and then print. And when you go to print, you will go to page setup. When you go to page setup, you will look at sheet. You want me to quickly run through it for, for you? All right, so go to file, then print, then print. Page setup. When you click on page setup, you have these headings there. You will click on sheet and then select or tick the box that says grid lines. All right, and then OK. Look at it now. You see the line showing? Because there's only one thing in that document, only one you'll be seeing right now. If it was several of them, you'd see several grid lines showing. Are you following, guys? All right. Back to the document that we were going through. All right, and pretty much that, that would have given you your full marks. Right. Number seven, the paragraph below was typed using a word processor. This global warning seems to be the hot topic in today's headlines. Governments are spending huge amounts of money to promote environmental protection practices within their countries since it is established that pollution is one of the major causes of global warming. You notice there's no punctuation in that sentence, in that paragraph, no capital letter whatsoever. And the first part of it says global warning, which should be global warming. So a capital G should be at global. The N should be a M in warning, should be warming. And a full stop should be at the end of headlines. Am I correct? Then a new sentence will start at governments. Good? Governments are spreading huge amounts of, spending huge amounts of money to promote environmental protection practices within their country. That should, there should be a full stop there and a new sentence at since. Right? So it says, since it is established that pollution, two L's should be in pollution, it's one of the major causes of global warming. All right? So that would have been your answer. Number eight, and please go through your printers. Uh, several papers I noticed ask questions regarding printers, so please know them. The different output. And you know, printer is one of them, right? Number eight says copy the table in your answer booklet. Using a line, match each document to the most appropriate printer that may be used to produce it. One was done for you, so for a research paper, you would use a laser printer. For a house plan, you would use a plotter. A plotter is like a printer, but it's a printer that prints graphics. So your house plans or your architectural drawings or designs, there's a, a plotter is used to produce those. Are you following? Even those billboards that you see, a regular printer is not what they use. A plotter is what they use. A plotter is really used to print graphics and, and designs and, and house plans, etc. All right. Hospital bill, a dot matrix printer would be used to print a hospital bill. All right? Invitation, an inkjet printer would be used for that. You want the pictures or the graphics on it to be crisp and clean. So you use an inkjet printer for that purpose. All right, guys? Moving to number nine. For each of the file extensions given in the list below, state the type of file which is referenced. You notice again, file extension. It's repeating itself. 
dot p g j p g what document goes with that photographs very good dot t x t text very good dot b m p pictures very good number 10 in the office environment paper may be selected based on the type size or layout state one example of each of the following categories of paper when you're talking about paper type you're talking about like parchment paper bond paper you understand what i'm saying size when you're talking about size now you're talking about a4 letter size legal size a5 and the list goes on you're talking about layout you're talking about like landscape or portrait all right that's the end of 2010 past paper